Welcome to Jay's Two Cents exclusive insider coverage of CES 2014. Our trip this year is brought to you by AquaTuning, your global source for PC modding and cooling components, and by Sennheiser, the pursuit of perfect sound, and of course, by generous viewers like you. So strap in with Jay's Two Cents as he takes you on a wild ride through CES 2014. Hey guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and I am here at the AMD booth, or the AMD tent here at CES 2014, and I'm joined here with James from Project Spark, uh, Microsoft Studios. Now what we're looking at here, uh, you kind of gave me a demo already, is mm -hmm. a user-based gaming GUI, basically, where you can create your own games, any type of game that you want. So uh, I kind of caught a little bit of this, but I'm going to let sure. you talk about this, because yeah, this is really interesting. So we like to refer to Project Spark as an open world digital canvas, where you can create your own games, your own worlds, and your own story. Just kind of get in here and showing you some of the basic tools. We have a tool set over here where you can kind of get in. You can, uh, this is our uh, expand tool. So it's one of, the, one of the ways you can sculpt terrain and start to get in here to make something cool. Now you're doing hand-based gestures here, yeah. but I mean, obviously this works with mouse and stuff on yes. 8.1? Absolutely. So this is our Windows 8.1 build that you're seeing. But, uh, but it's going to be on Xbox One. It's going to be on Xbox 360. And you can use mouse and keyboard. Or you can use controller. Just whatever's comfortable for you. Comfortable for you. Uh, it's kind of cool to show it off on, you know, with the PPI. It's a lot of fun, but uh, it's equally as fun on the other plan, uh, devices as well. So it's just kind of like a paint program, but you're telling it what to create based on the type of brush you're selecting. Yeah, so it's um, I think it's more of a kind of a you know world editing tool. So I'm I'm in here. I can I can play around with my world. I can set it to look exactly how I want it to look, and then once I feel like I have uh, you know. A, you know, it's sculpted out the way I want it to sculpt. I can use my smart paint brushes to kind of go in here and quickly paint my terrain. Or I can use my biome brush, which is actually going to give me some uh, props and other objects that are going to spawn into my world. So as you can see, I have some trees, things like that are going to drop in. And depending on the size of this brush, I'm going to get some different objects. But it's just one of the, one of the as uh, aspects of Project Spark. So not only can I make something that looks really cool, I can actually get into the game and start to add some other stuff to it. So I'm just going to, before I hop into play, I'm just going to add a couple enemies in here. And just like hitting, just like that, hitting play, grab my controller here. I'm in the game, and I can start to fight. These goblins are just, just set. You can see my water playing. You can see my cave. So just like that, we've actually created a dynamic experience in a short amount of time. Now, if I want to change this, if I don't want to have goblins that are attacking me, if I want to change the aspects of my game, I can easily do that. And, and just for the record, guys, in about 30 seconds, he made a small little RPG interactive game with goblins and stuff. And I mean, OK, so what kind of games can you create? Oh man, it's limitless. I, I really wish I could put it in a box and say, hey, you can make just this kind of game or this kind of game, but but because uh, we're currently in beta right now, we have a few thousand people that are in our beta and seeing the games that they're creating, it's, it's really impressive. So this, it just ranges from, you know, you can puzzle games, shooters, uh, you know, just driving games, um, you know, whatever kind of blackjack, you know, you know, those type of games, whatever kind of game you want to make, there's a, there's a way you can make it in Project Spark. Okay, now show us how, how you kind of create some of the dynamic of the character and whatnot. So this is, this is how we control the brains. This is our brain. So a lot of our objects have what we call default brains. This is one of them here. So right now you can kind of follow our logic. So when do logic. So when A is pressed, do jump. When you know uh, X is pressed or the left mouse button is pressed, do attack. When Y is pressed, do shoot. So you can kind of follow the logic power we're creating here. Okay, now, now you're showing controller-based uh, interactions. Is it the same thing with right click, left click, and keyboard mapping? Absolutely, and you can, you can con completely um, change that all yourself. So you can change how your controls are set up. You can also change your controls to be just touch only. You can make a touch only game if you like. So this is, our, this is our goblin brain. So I can change this all line by line if I want to change this behavior. Or I can go into my brain gallery, which is going to give me a lot of different options. This is kind of a really kind of a, a easy way to kind of get in and learn about our brains and start to do some really cool stuff. So I'm just going to put a bird brain on that one. who was, He was just attacking me a second ago. Put a bird brain on him. And for this, I want to make him friendly by going over to our follower healer brain. Whoop, I uh, did follow normal. So let's see here. I'm going to do the healer. I like the healer brain. So let's uh, see here. So I'm going to use our follower healer brain. And just like this, I'm going to go back into play, and we're going to see how this just changed our game. So right now, I'm going to go over to this one. He's trying to help me out. And this one I set a bird brain to. So when I go over to him, he's flying away. So just like that, this is kind of just a small example of all the, of the way you can customize your own game and change the game to make whatever you want to make. Um, OK, James, a couple of questions. One, sounds and things. Can you record and input your own sound? So, uh, so, so you can edit your own sounds in your games right now using the options that we have in-game. But something else that we have coming that's really cool on the Xbox One is we use the Kinect to do performance capture. So with this tool, you can actually go in, do full body animations, record your, your voice, record your facial animation, your hands opening and closing. You can actually map those animations to a character in the game. So just imagine the possibilities of uh, you know, attacks or just special moments that you can add to your game using the Kinect.
Okay, now another question here. Obviously, you're demoing this on uh, 8.1 right now? Correct. Okay, yeah. uh, you mentioned Xbox One, so how do they interact? So it's a cross-platform game, so you can start creating on one device and finish creating on another device, or you can create on one device and your friend can play it on a different device. So I can create on 8.1, my friend can grab my game, play it on his Xbox One, he can also remix it on his Xbox One and then sh and share it back up, and I can pick it up back on my 8.1 device. Okay, so it's all done through the, mi through the marketplace. You upload it to the marketplace and then you can bring it down to your console. Sure. Sure, absolutely. Yep. Wow. Well, James, thank you very much for showing me that. Yeah, Guys, you, you know, I'm going to give this guy my card. I want to get into this closed beta if I can, because like I, I mentioned to you before we did the video, I've kind of mentioned gaming as stale. And for me anyway, I mean, I've been gaming for 25 years, and I haven't really liked a lot of the direction some of the games are going. So this is the kind of thing where, you know, maybe it'd be fun to see what I could come up with, because it's really putting your money where your mouth is. Gaming stale. Let's see what you can come up with. Absolutely. Guys, it's been Jay's Two Cents. James, thank you very much. Uh, Project Spark here from Microsoft Studios, giving you the ability to create your own games, first-person shooters, RPGs, uh, and, and, and uh, multiplayer as well? Yeah, so there will be multiplayer. We haven't talked too much about it just yet, but we're excited to talk more about it. But uh, all the information you want is uh, go joinprojectspark.com. We'd love to have people sign up for our beta, get in there and make some cool stuff. And if everything goes well, you should be seeing it in 2014. Guys, make sure you're following on Twitter for all of our CES 2014 coverage. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.